Hey, it's me, Chris, Mr. Particular, here with a try-on video, a little comparison or, or review of Wolf and Shepherd shoes. I uh, saw these, I think, online on Facebook when I was looking for shoes, and I thought, what the heck, let's give them a try, order a couple pairs, see which one fits better. Uh, so here we are today. Now what we have in front of us, first we have what's called a crossover loafer, and that's these. Uh, they're dark navy blue with a suede, it's a suede fabric. Uh, it's got a nice white, he white sides with a rubber sole of sorts. And the other ones are called the Swift Knit. Swift Knit loafer, a little bit lighter. It's a knit fabric of sorts and there's uh, got some holes in it, like almost ventilated for breathability. Similar sole, I'd say. Uh, similar, yeah, similar sides and similar sole, just a different color. And um, line them up next to each other. You know, lighter blue, darker blue. I'd say a little sportier, both casual, which is what I'm going for on this. I want a casual slip-on shoe for the summer, maybe a little bit beyond. And price point, I think these were 180 and these were 250. I'll research the prices and put them on the screen. I just don't have it quite in front of me. But again, I wanted a blue slip-on to wear. And what was nice, it's called a drop. So from the heel to toe on these is either eight or 10 millimeters. And I need that little bit extra um, I'm kind of particular about my shoes uh, because my knees hurt. And so I'm hoping that uh, these will be soft to walk on. And so uh, let's, well, let's give each one a go. Let's try these. Uh, this is called the Swift Knit. So Swift Knits and Loafer Lights. Swift Knit. All right, so, hmm, you know, comfortable initial first feel. Yeah, very nice. You, know, you never really know until you use them for a little while. But we'll take some steps back and forth and across the room here. Yeah. Nice comfy shoe, all right. So that's the Swift Knit. Now let's go for the loafer lights. And I like the looks of each shoe. I think they're both very good looking shoes. Uh, the price, a little bit of a price difference, but I think I would stick with the shoe I like better regardless of, of the price for this particular one. All right, so same size, they're both size 11. Very, very similar feel, I guess they have the same footprint, the same cut, and uh, definitely comfortable as well. Let's walk around a little bit. Uh, uh, definitely these loafer lights, uh, uh, loafer lights are a sturdier shoe, maybe just because the, the suede is a little bit sturdier than the knit, but I don't need the stability support. Uh, on these, you know, for the shoes I'm looking for here. And so, uh, you know, I like the sportiness. They're both casual, I'd say. I do like, I like the sportiness of the Swift Knits a little bit better. Uh, same general feel. And, um, yeah, so it's a tough decision. Let me tell you, if you're looking at these, uh, either one seems quite nice. And, uh, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to go with the how do you say it again? Uh, the Swift Knits. I think I am going to stick with the Swift Knits, and I'll tell you, it's just, yeah, these are really nice. Simply the color. The color and the, uh, I don't know what we call it, styling. We have a little bit of a different color pull tab here. And they're nice and light, but without being nice and light, but without being too flimsy. You know, again, I, Flat shoes with no heel to toe drop. You know, the four millimeter and the flat shoes tend to hurt my knees. And these do have uh, some cushioning in there on the, on the, uh, in the heel. And as I'm walking around the room, that's totally fine. 
Yeah, so I'm going to stick with these. I think I'll go with these swift knits. And uh, that's just a little bit of my experience here uh, with this Wolf and Shepherd shoe line.